It's really amazing to see the development in audio industry, especially in portable audio. And I've been wanting to have a portable DAC or M for myself, so that whenever I feel lazy to bring my digital audio player, I can grab my uh, dongle DAC and then plug it into my software and then get going. And um, I've been res researching between three names, uh, KIN RU6, the um, Lotto S2, and then the LPW2131. And I decided to uh, land on the last one because I think I need uh, a source that has a neutral characteristic and today we're going to unbox it. So here's the box. Just a quick note, version 131 is an updated version of the um, W2OG. Um, it uses different chip uh, as the OG. The OG used the um, Cirrus Logic um, 43198 um, and then this one used um, Cirrus Logic 43131 and with the uh, 43131 uh, it has an uh, added amplifier so it also acts as an amplifier and um, this new version is in increase the output power from 235 milliwatt at 32 ohms to 260 milliwatt at 32 ohms also one thing uh, uh, that also uh, should should be taken into consideration this one uh, has consumed 10% less battery power. If you see on the website the difference between CS43198 and CS43131, the CS198 uh, uh, that used on the W2OG, um, it's a next generation low power audio DAC with pseudo differential stereo analog output, while the new one, the one that this one uses, is uh, CS131. Uh, it's a combined DAC with a high fidelity headphone amplifier and integrated high performance ground centered audio headphone outputs. So that's the difference. So um, I'm going to show you the, the box. The box is very, very similar with the OG. It's like this with a, with a, you cannot see it, but there's a silhouette of the DAC here and then nothing and then this is important so if you are thinking to purchase the 1139 uh, version uh, the thing that you should take notice is uh, this one where is it here there's a, a text saying that this one is the 131 w2131 so and also here 131 all right so we're going to unbox it now Okay. It's Prussian blue color. Very well built. Let me show you. It's very well built with glassy um, OLED screen. And then there's a button here. And then here a carbon fiber matte colored oh it's also glassy uh, uh, back yeah USB-C and it has uh, 3.5 single-ended audio it's also um, SPI-DF and then the 4.4 um, um, balance output nice looking um, dongle DAC so we have the user manual which i hope should be in english not in chinese bad luck it's in chinese so we'll see and this is what you got you you get the um, uh, adapter so if you have a usb a you have an ad adapter for usb a to usb c you also have a uh, cable for from uh, for iPhone lightning cable to USB-C USB-C to USB-C 
All right, I'm just gonna put it here. Put it back. And also, um, I'm very lucky because I got this um, with a discounted price because here in Vietnam, they're having a Vietnamese uh, New Year's. So they gave me a discounted price on this. And on top of that, they also gave me the um, this one. Uh, it should cost me around 650,000 Vietnamese dong, but uh, they gave it to me for free. So um, yeah, it's, it's a good bargain. So it's a leather case for the Dongle DAC and it's the um, yellow color so we're gonna open it now right very very bright color and then we also have got this one to uh, so that we can put it at the back of our smartphones um, to attach it to the um, smartphones that's it right once again this is the dongle DAC and now this this one also has the um, uh, integrated uh, amplifier so good to know i like the the logo yeah a few moments later so I've spent half of a day trying out this new uh, dongle DAC and then three things that I noticed immediately. The first one is the power, the sound stage, and then the resolution. About the power, this thing, it's a beast. Like it's really small, like the size of your palm. But when you connect it to your smartphone and then to your IMs, it really gives you the power that you need to really bring out the the higher sensation of the music that you love. Um, it shocks me quite uh, a bit because I didn't expect that the power will be this big. And it also, um, I think it's on par with um, entry level or mid-level le mid um, digital audio player. Yeah. So um, amazing. So I connect the W2 to my Galaxy Note 20 and I put the volume on my Galaxy Note 20 at 100% and then only 60% on this unit it has like a volume control button here see this is a volume control button and with this 100 and then this only 60% it's already give you it already give, gave me the power that I need to listen music in detail that's how amazing this thing is um, amazing I'm really uh, it's beyond my expectation to be honest and then second thing about the sound stage the sound stage is big it gives you idea about where each instrument is located you can you can know where the vocalist is you know where the drum is you know where the guitar is it's big and also the resolution it's really it gives you a, de a detailed layering of each instrument so um, i'm really i'm really surprised and amazed with my purchase also, if you're into EQ and tuning, this uh, unit uh, allows you with seven features. Um, I'm not really into EQ. I'm a type of person that like to uh, keep my source like it is, like I'm a purist. But if you really like um, into play with the EQ or tuning, so I'm just gonna give you like a, a glimpse of what features that it can give you. To access it, you need to press the power button. So there are two buttons. This is the, the small one is power button, and then the long one is the volume button. So you press the power button once, and then you you hold it again one more time, and then it gives you that the EQ, and then you press the volume button. Normal game, uh, movie, bass, jazz, classic, and then pop, rock, and normal again. If you want to change to the next one. 
So this is SDF, um, Z, Z1R, this is the SDF, it gives you like, like this, I'm just going to press so you can see, and then gain, you can uh, um, FLT, fast, and then SPDIF, and then DI, um, what is it, DISP, and then hit key, and then VAC 2.0, Tuning one and two, I'm using um, tuning one, which is more V-shape, and then tuning two is more like um, U-shape uh, with a better sound stage. So um, that's it. So um, that's just a glimpse. I just want to share it with you. All right. So thank you guys.